It's, hey, it's been brought to my attention that we have some people out there that are struggling with push-ups, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that today. Three things, all right? We're gonna do static push-ups, okay? Which is basically a plank, but from the push-up position, all right? We're also gonna do push-ups, and we're gonna do pikes, okay? Um, for some of you, we're just gonna work straight out of this, the, the push-up position. Others, we're gonna start with the pike and kind of build ourselves up to it. There's a few modified movements that we're gonna to implement to kind of help you get through that. Now, something you need to be aware of, okay? When we are doing our push-ups, it's the same thing as a plank, all right? We need to maintain that hollowed out position, core tight, butt is turned on. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here, okay? Let's post this up. Boom, in the handy dandy RPM workshop, AKA apartments, right? Here we are. So if you watch my hips, okay? Watch the alignment here. I'll move it a little closer so the camera can catch it. I'm gonna activate my butt by squeezing, right? So I'm here, I'm gonna activate, boom. You see that difference? I let it go, back out, activate, boom. This right here, this hollowed out position, I'm not hyperextended this way, I'm more convex this way, okay? We're not compromising our neutral spine here. We're squeezing our hips or squeezing our glutes, sorry. We're just going to tell our pelvis underneath our spine and really stack us in a strong neutral position, okay? So from there, we're going to work into push-ups, okay? We're going to be here. For those of you that struggle with this, this is where we're going to start. A plank, right? From the push-up position, we're actively pushing through the palms of our hand. I'm also kind of pushing forward on my, on my fingers, right? So I'm pushing down, I'm pushing forward. My hands are stacked directly underneath my shoulders, okay? It is not all right for your hands to be way out here or way back there, okay? Hands are stacked underneath the shoulders. I'm here. I'm going to hold this for 60 seconds, all right? If you're struggling here, you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. My butt's turned on. My spine's neutral. That's okay. Drop to your knees. Do not roll back out of your plank, okay? Keep it on tension. Forward. Fight through it. When you get enough gas in the tank, get back up to your toes, okay? If you really struggle, just stay on your knees. That's cool, right? 60 seconds, right? From there, we're going to go into actual push-ups, okay? I want you to see my elbow position. As I go down, my elbows are not drifting straight out, okay? Elbow position goes back. You see that alignment with my body? If I'm here, it goes back. I'm not going out, okay? If we go out just like bench press, you see those guys over there benching, they're super wide. That's how we compromise our rotator cuff and potentially suffer an injury, okay? So make sure those elbows fire straight back into the body as we're going down, right? If you cannot do a push-up, right? You can't do it from your toes. Yeah, let me turn around. If you can't do a push-up from your toes, do it from your knees. That's all right. If you're struggling with your wrist, maybe we lack some mobility there. Try to aim your thumbs more up. Right? Don't do it here because there's a lot of tension there when we're in full extension on our wrist, okay? So make sure we rotate it up this way, okay? We're here. We're going to do a push-up. If we can't actively do push-up, butt turned on, neutral spine, if I can't do this motion, right, that's fine. Do it from your knees. If we can't do that, it's okay. In both positions, we can modify it the same. I'll show you the push-up, then I'll show you the pipe. We're here. I'm going to resist nice and slow, control my movements all the way to the ground. Once I get here, we'll implement downward facing dog to an extent, push ourselves back, get back over our shoulders, back on our toes, slow down again. That eccentric motion is going to train your body to fire your muscles in that same motor pattern, which is the exact same as the, the motor pattern coming back up just in reverse, right? So we're going to strengthen ourselves up through that eccentric motion, right? We're going to strengthen our core through the planks so we can maintain it. And eventually, we'll get to where we can just do straight push-ups. So we can do the same thing that I just simulated there in the push-up as, as well as the pike, okay? If you can't just down up, down up, that's fine, right? Slow, steady, lower yourself to the ground. Once you get there, rock back out of it, get the weight off your arms, then redistribute back over your shoulders, slow, steady, back to the bottom. Hope it helps. As always, like, subscribe, let us know what we can do better.